Hey guys, so a few of you have been asking uh, how do I cut the material for the uh, ETS2 panels and this is how. This is a uh, laser engraver slash cutter. It does both and I'll show you a few examples of what it can do. Uh, but you can see on the back there is a couple of panels that I've already cut. These are just some off cuts which you'll see shortly. Now this thing is water cooled the water comes in on this pipe and then comes out on the other one keeps it all nice and cool the blue tube is the exhaust fan for smoke etc but this is the unit let me just move around here so that's inside I'll show you in there in a second but this is the uh, control panel there's a laser on and off button so you can actually isolate the laser if needed then there's the fire button which allows you to fire the laser once uh, there's a pointer on there which allows you to align material there's a, a fan on and off switch and then a pump on switch as well that needs to be on uh, there's also a LED fan uh, sorry an LED switch for a strip of LEDs that I've not actually wired up as yet then we've got an emergency stop, power switch, uh, a current regulator and the current meter in milliamps. Now this thing will go up to 30 milliamps but I've only ever took it up to about 20 milliamps. So coming over here this is the main uh, printing area or work area etc. Uh, you can see a few scorched areas uh, you can see the outlines here of uh, some of the ETS panels that I've been doing. The laser head, which is this thing in the centre. The laser beam comes from behind here, bounces off the mirror there, comes onto this mirror and then goes into this unit, which then fires the laser down through a little focal lens underneath, down onto the uh, material. Uh, and that's basically it, that's that's the unit itself uh, it's got a working area of around uh, 300 by 200 millimeters it's not the biggest but it's enough for an A4 sheet as you'll see shortly so coming up here to the software currently running it's got all the outlines of everything that needs to be uh, cut you can see the uh, front of the panel is there, those are the two sides, that is the back, that is the top and then that's the bottom. So when we click run on that software it will print it out onto here. So what I'm going to do now is turn the laser beam on so you can see hopefully you can see the uh, little laser beam pointing down there so all I'm going to do is put the material in, like so, and I do apologise about the shaky camera, but all I'm doing is aligning that uh, little laser light to the corner of the material, as you can see just there. So now I'm going to tell the machine to prepare to move. Just aligning that in the right place. Now I'm going to free the motor which allows me to move this head from one side to the other. And you can see here we're a little out of line. So all I need to do is pull the material down back into alignment, take the head all the way back to the opposite side and make sure that we're aligned still on this side so we need to come to the right just a touch there we go take it back to this side make sure it is still in place which it is so we're all good so I'll just tell the machine now to realign and there we go it's now realigned back into the position that we need so all I'm going to do is tell the machine now that I want to uh, cut and I'm going to click on output so 
off we go. now finished all we need to do now is take the plastic or excess plastic out and that's how it comes out all in one piece which is good you can throw that away take out one of the side panels which the holes just fall straight out take out the second side panel again the holes have fell straight out the front display, sometimes these little uh, holes for the LEDs don't fall out so you just need to uh, push those out, you can see that one's just dropped out. This little bit is excess so that can be thrown away. This is the back panel, then the top of the unit and lastly the bottom of the unit. These little bits that are here, we can throw them away, so all I do chuck them down the side there and then eventually I'll clean it up. So that is it, we've got all of the parts needed to build one ETS2 panel. So thanks for watching this video on the uh, laser engraver, but that is it for this video, so until next time, have fun.